19 millimeter socket, we're gonna go ahead and remove our lug nuts. Grab your wheel, remove it, set it aside. Using our trim tool, we're gonna go ahead and remove the plastic buttons holding our under engine splash shield in place. There's one there one under the edge right here. On the bottom side underneath the lip of the bumper, I'm gonna go ahead and pop our trim buttons here. I'm gonna go ahead and repeat the process for the rest of these buttons. I want to go ahead and pop this out so we can get a better look at it. Using our Phillips head screwdriver, go ahead and remove these two screws holding the little splash guard here. Now on the inside here, there should be a little plastic push pin right here. Ours is missing. We have a couple buttons up here. Let's go ahead and pull these out. Once we get these two out here, we're going to continue around the complete wheel well liner to go ahead and remove those there. Continue right around the wheel well liner.
pull your liner out. And go ahead and line up our fender liner. started. Once you have one in, I'm just going to go ahead and start lining up the other ones and pretty much reverse getting these all pressed in until the liner is all set. Let's go ahead and get our little guard here installed. I'm not going to secure that one yet. We're going to get that bottom one lined up. screws in. Let's go ahead and snug them down. And just continue all the way around your liner until we get that all buttoned up. Install our Splash shield here. I'm going to start by getting a couple of these center buttons popped up and in a place. Once we have these two center ones installed, we'll go ahead and work our way around and get the rest of the other ones installed around the perimeter. On the bottom here, go ahead and install this little tab into the well liner. and tuck this behind. Let's go ahead and install our clip back here. And then we'll push that button in. Let's go ahead and install your wheel. Making a mess and go install your lug nuts. Get them all started by hand. Once these are all on, I'm going to go ahead and snug them down. Get and torque our lug nuts down to 80 foot pounds. And you're all set. 